Hey, welcome back to the shop. Um, <laughs> the uh, the Keurig is back on the healing table saw top, and uh, had a viewer um, ask if uh, there were any clips of the reassembly, and there are none. Sorry, uh, evil Dr. Pork Chop. But since mine kind of stopped working, I thought, wow, it's almost as if somebody up there wants a evil Dr. Pork Chop to be able to see a clip of this being reassembled. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, first, we're going to fix the thing that we fixed the first time, because there's always time to do it the right way the second time around. Now, I don't know what the right way is, so we're just going to keep throwing ideas at it, because who wants to do a quick Google search uh, on how the right way to fix this? Am I right? So, let's look at what is the problem. And there she is. In all of her glory, the exact same thing we had an issue with last time. Let's get you a closer view. I need three hands. All right. So I'm going to try bending back those clips a little more and trying to do more of a physical connection instead of the solder that I put on last time, but we'll see how successful I am with that. We'll just clamp that down and call that a day, I think. Now, uh, so preface this by saying that I broke these two clips here, here, uh, when I took it apart the first time. So we're just going to squeeze this back in. And if you look over here, the, the spot where these two clips connected was here and here and you might be able to get in with a long pry bar uh, and not break those um, if you're watching this video or watch the other videos so you just slide everything back in let's see if I can remember the sequence of events here so you're gonna have Two screws, they look like so, they're the black with the large flat head, and they will go into, so they will go in here, and here. Ah. Ah, come on. Get out of there. You know, it's like one of those puzzles where you're trying to get the ball, there we go, through the maze, you know? Those things are pretty sweet. Although I, I admit I cheat often. All right. <clears throat> Round two, fight. Try it this way instead. We'll get rid of the sausage fingers from the equation. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Wahaha! Alright. There we go, there we go. Nice enough. Now, I think you top, I'm saying. The top is like so. It has two screws. Two legs there. So ones. And then we'll go. Here, and here. Some strangers. Oh, let's see this. Alright. Go to your face, because you'll probably share a fight. Alright, let's see that. 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 Let's see that.
Oh. Like an idiot. We'll just disregard this last part, but uh, actually I probably should keep it in for sake of uh, infotainment. But I'm almost positive there's a clip. But yeah, that this back goes into. So this clip and this clip go into this recess here and this recess here. So open it up, slide on, slide it on the right way. Now, you know you have it when you can pull up and it doesn't come out. So, there we go. We're good. Now, we'll get those two screws we were talking about earlier. It's always a good, good rule of thumb that when you take something off that's held on with screws, Put the screws with it separately elsewhere in your shop, uh, just so you remember which ones go where. Uh, but we're going to put on this fascia shield and these two thin, uh, flat, or kind of big built-in washer screws here. But, yeah, I almost made a mistake here. This has to get at least back in its home, otherwise it will not fit. So take. These uh, has two longish silver ones. Yes, that's a term. So we get that back in there first. There we go, just like so. And then this goes on, because if you don't put this one in first and you put that one on, uh, this one won't fit inside. See, so order of operations there. So these two screws, one here. Is there? Oh, here. Alright, got two in here. Now to the bottom. We have an assorted uh, variety of screws here. It doesn't appear that any of them are any different than any of the others, so see a screw hole, put a screw hole in it. All right, take your cord. And just fiddle with it till she, till she fits. All right, so we put the two screws back in for the water uh, siphon thing. We're gonna start in this corner and work our way around. We're gonna start by going down, down, down. Get in there. Come on. Yes. All right. Magnetic. Ah. Dang it. Magnetic tip screwdriver for the win. For the win. All right, so that's down deep in that hole there. So we'll start there. So if you're ever unsure, just put this plate over it and see which holes are going to be used uh, when you need to attach this bottom and don't put a screw in there yet. So we don't put one here. We do put one here. We don't put one here. We don't put one here. We don't put one here. We okay, so before we put this plate on, we put screws here, uh, in here for the water receptacle, here and here. Uh, we've also put a screw down in this corner and here as well. And I believe the rest, we'll get a screw this way. Uh, but before we can do that, we need to quick take the, new the grounding wires here apart. That's a nut, like so. Push them through the grounding lug hole. If you're wondering which hole it is, it has a little symbol right there. 
uh, to let you know that that is for grounding everything out. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> had me for a moment there. I wasn't sure if I'd fixed it or not. <laughs> Sneaky bugger. Boil, my lovely boil. <laughs> You know, it's moments like this that I think, F you, China, I'm fixing it. And I did! Arrgh! Planned obsolescence, my butt. Another victory. Ah, that just looks good. Boy, that's piping hot. <sighs> Good stuff. Anyway, I present to you the fully reassembled and working again, uh, Keurig. <laughs> so uh, I hope, hopefully, that reassembly caught that clip that you were talking about. Uh, you said there's clips of their. Uh, yeah, hopefully this will. Maybe it was this part that got you hung up. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I hope it worked for you. And uh, to everyone else out there, I'd like to wish you a uh, happy holiday, Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, you know, Joy Noel, and I, I'm, I'm not a very cultured person. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, you know, to you and yours, the best of years. Thanks for watching. <laughs>